Hello. Hello. Hi guys, welcome. How are you tonight? It's Friday. Yay. <laughs> it's just another day. Do you have plans for the weekend? Mauricio, you don't have your well, he doesn't have. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, teacher. Are you happy because it's it's uh, Friday? Yes, very happy. Really? I see you. I no. I saw. I saw you. Song. I saw you. Yes. Nice. Very nice. I like it. Ah, uh, thank you. Hey, you play music, Elizabeth? Um, no, no. Oh, because you have a guitar in the background. <laughs> ah, it's um it was inherited. Yes. That's how you say it. Oh, you saw the video. Thank you. It, yeah. I need to continue watching more. I mean recording more videos, but I don't know when later. In two months maybe. Right now it's like, like, like your voice. I like. <laughs> ah, you saw me singing. <laughs> I didn't send you that. <laughs> <laughs> you saw everything, okay? Yeah, there will be a new one on, on Wednesday. I'll send it to you particularly. Sandra. Hi. Hi. Good evening. Hi. How are you tonight? Very good. Oh, good, okay. And Raul, I don't hear you. Mauricio. Can't hear you. All right, there you are. Okay, well, welcome to another class. I hope that you can learn something and have fun tonight, hopefully. Alrighty, let's see here. Let me access the platform and everybody access the platform with me, please, so that we can make progress, practice, right, and discuss. Okay. Do you have plans for the weekend? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. Um, uh, well, maybe sun, Sunday, Mon Sunday, maybe. Uh, uh, we have to go to the beach. You're going to the beach on Sunday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, <laughs> Monday, Sunday, uh, uh, Sunday, Monday. I'm really well. Uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, <laughs> Sunday. Yes. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. All right. That's cool. Sorry, guys. I would love to go to the beach. That would be so relaxing. Yeah. Anyway, let's begin section 1.6 because this topic is very long. We need to make progress. Can you read the objective, please? And let me see who, Jose Luis. Jose Luis, can you hear us? happened here. Raul, I see you. Hi, sorry. Okay, read the objective, please. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, give me a second. Okay. Will English conversational skills will be lesson on past tense questions? Practice forming past tense questions using the verb to be by asking a person about his or her background. For example, you will be able, uh, where you were in the city, where you were, where were you were, and how old were you when you came to this country. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to ask and answer yes or no question and WH question using was and were. Okay. 
I don't know if this is the same video though. There's so many that I can't remember. Let me see, this is... Hi everyone. We watched this video, right? That's the same one? I know, se parecen todos. I don't know which one is which. Sorry, so yeah, let's go to the next one then. And, okay, this is the easiest part with the verb be. Let's do the exercise. Sorry guys, number one, um, Raul. Hold on. Put these words. You were born. Ah, okay. No, we haven't done this. So yes, what's number one? Yes, I was. Yeah. Okay. If I call your name, I would like you to read this and the answer. Okay, the question and the answer. So say, were you a good student in high school? Answer. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Very good, Jose Luis. Number, you did number two, I think. Number okay, one. You work where city lives. Put oh, yeah. this word in the corner, okay. okay. Um, where are you born in this city? Yes, very good. I think you're understanding better this topic now. Good. Next one. Um, Tatiana? For a question to match this answer, answer my favorite subject were match and science. Um, what were your favorite subject in high school? Okay, good, that works. Maria? Hello. Number four. Oh, you're not ready, I think. That's fine. Elizabeth? Okay. And number four, which is correct? Um, where was Peter born? Mm -hmm, exactly, where was Peter born? Number five, Sandra? Oh, Sandra, uh -huh. in, in 99. <laughs> oh. Yes, how old were you in 1999? 1999. Okay, let's check. Oh, there's a mistake. Where was, well, uh, well, yeah. What? Where was Peter? That is not okay. We need love letter H. When? Oops. When? When was Peter born? Peter born. I didn't realize either. Okay. That's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, the other one was not right. Okay. Now we're going to learn something about the past in a different way. Okay. With used to. Used to is for habitual actions of the past that are no longer part of your activities in the present. All right. So let's let's see this conversation here. And I will explain later. We're gonna practice too, but first pay attention to the video, take notes, please. All right. The topic right now is used to, and we're talking about the past. Okay. This hmm. is Solia. All right, that's what it means. Anyway, let's watch. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to discuss your childhood habits using used to. Let me give you a couple of examples. When I was a kid, I used to be very messy, but now I'm very neat. I used to have a lot of hobbies, but now I don't have any free time. I didn't used to follow politics, but now I read the newspapers every day. 
You'll also listen to a short conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let me get started by presenting some structure. As I mentioned, what we're going to do is we're going to try to become familiar with the usage of used to. And in this class, what we're going to do is we're going to become familiar with making positive statements and negative statements using used to. So here are a couple of examples that we want to learn. I used to collect comic books. I didn't used to collect anything, but now I collect art. Um, and I'm just borrowing the examples that are here, but of course I'll give more details about this in just one second. But the first thing that I would like to do at this time is that I would like to have you listen to a conversation and you will learn how this topic is used. And after that, I'm going to start explaining how to structure these sentences together. So let's do that right now. Let's listen to that conversation that I'm talking about. Thanks for taking the time to speak with me, Jerry. Oh, it's my pleasure. You have a beautiful accent. Where did you grow up? I grew up in England, in a city called Brighton. Were you popular when you were growing up? Not really. I wasn't unpopular, but I wasn't in the popular crowd at school. I had a nice group of friends, though. How did you like school? Oh, I loved school. I was a great student. My mother actually taught at my primary school. I always thought that was terrific. What about your free time as a child? Did you have a hobby? I used to love to draw. Later I learned to paint and I still do that. Actually, I have some paintings in a gallery right now. That's impressive. Well, it's a very small exhibit, but it's something I really enjoy. Did you have a favorite game when you were growing up? I used to play video games a lot as a kid. The video games then were very different from the games now. I didn't have a favorite, though. I liked a lot of them. What about a favorite place? Hmm, my favorite place. I used to go to a summer camp in Ireland. I loved that. I got to go horseback riding almost every day. Do you still go to Ireland? No, not very often. Let me start by explaining this chart. First of all, let me just get the concept out of the way. Used to refers to something that you regularly did in the past, but you don't do that anymore. And let me get started by explaining positive statements. So what I'm going to do at this time, I'm just going to put the formula here and we're going to try to make sense of the positive statements that are outlined there for us. So what we're going to do at this time is we're Please write down the, the structure, guys, everybody. We're going to borrow that first example that you see there. So we have I is the subject, and then this follows used to, and then we're going to have the verb. It's going to be in the present. So I used to, and in this case, be. Very messy, but uh, now um, very neat. There we go. So the subject in our sentence is I. I'm going to go ahead and play with the colors right now. Uh, this follows used to. And then we have the verb to be. Now, this just happens to be the verb that we're using in this example, but it's not always going to be the verb to be. And then finally, we're going to have some sort of complement that um, uh, in order to finish that idea there. And so now let's try to make a couple of more examples. So I'm going to mention some of my own so I used to and I'm gonna say I used to play a lot of sports when I was a kid um, and well we follow the structure um, we have a subject then this follows used to then we have the verb in the present tense and then we have some sort of complement at the end Now let me present the negative structure. Let me present how we're going to make negative statements. So previously we learned that we can make positive statements with used to. Now we're going to talk about negative statements. The only thing that's going to change to our previous structure is that we're going to include didn't. 
All right, so that's what I want you to notice. And also, I want you to notice that used to will no longer be in the uh, it will no longer be in the past. And now it's going to be in the present, and that's because of this auxiliary verb that you see here. So we're going to have the subject plus didn't, and then used to will be in the present. It's not going to be in the past like we saw it in our positive statements. And the rest will pretty much stay the same. Uh, so the subject plus didn't use to plus the verb in the present and then whatever complement exists. So in this case, um, we're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and write uh, a couple of examples here. So some of the ones that I mentioned as we began the class. Let me go ahead and give another example here. I'm gonna say I didn't use to collect anything but I do now there we go and there is one last way on how to express negative statements and that is using never used to and it's quite similar so let me give you an example about this I never used to play sports okay, but now I play every day so we can also make negative statements using never used to okay so the subject plus never used to and that's gonna follow the verb in its present form and then whatever complement exists I never used to play sports I never used to worry about money I never used to play sports, but now I play tennis, just like you see on the example there. And the last thing that I would like for you to do is to tell me what did you used to do when you were a child? Did you used to play sports? Did you used to have a pet? Did you used to play video games? And also mention the things that you didn't used to do when you were a child. So for example, I never used to collect anything. Okay, the way we're going to practice this is uh, with some questions, all right? So we are going to talk about our childhood, basically. All right, I sent you an image. Check the image, please. I sent it to your WhatsApp. It's this one. So that we can practice speaking. I know you're tired right now of listening to a lot of explanations, but it's time to have fun and practice, okay? But look, I will tell you how to answer the question. What is the first question in the image, guys? Let me see, let me open it here so that you can all see it. Uh, um. How often did you used to get into trouble? Yes. All right, let me open it here from WhatsApp and everybody else do too, please. So first question says, where, no, here is the start, guys. Where did you okay. use to live when you were growing up? Okay, so for the affirmative form, Raul. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea, Raul. You're going to get to relax in the hammock. <laughs> where is the... Uh, the image? Uh -huh, where, no, no. It's, 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 okay, here's the question, right? Where did you used to live when you were growing up? So you're going to answer in the affirmative. Ah, okay, okay, okay. And we right. have to say, you're going to say used to and the verb with no changes, right? The verb in the base form. So in this case, you would say, okay, when I was little, I used to live in, in San Salvador, for example. Is that clear? Yeah. Okay, and uh, what is the negative uh, form? Can I, can I say to, can I say to uh, when, I was, when I was a child, I used to live in San Salvador? Yes. Yeah, that's the answer. Okay. Okay, what if it's a negative form? 
if I ask you, hey, did you used to play, for example, Alan? Yes. Did you used to play soccer when you were little? Uh, yes, I I used to play soccer oh. when I was a little. Okay. And uh, if I ask a kid. Uh huh. When I was a kid, when I was little. And if I ask Elizabeth, what about you? You did or you didn't? Did you used to play soccer? No, no okay. I didn't. So you have to I say, didn't. I didn't what? I didn't? I didn't. I didn't use to play soccer yes, when I this, was a kid. Yes, in this case, we're going to say, didn't use to. I didn't use to play. This is a negative form because yes. the auxiliary is in the past, right? Yes. So affirmative used to, negative didn't use to. Is that clear? Okay. Yeah. Right. yeah. So <clears throat> let's go back to your childhood, guys. Think about your friends when you were little and everything. Let's discuss, all right? Discuss the questions here. All right, all the questions, as many as you can in small groups. Do you have any questions? Please. Oh. No? All right. So accept the invitation, please. Let's get speaking. I, I, sorry, I, I already connect to the class. I didn't understand what we're gonna do. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. I hear you. Yes, there. Do you have WhatsApp? I sent an image there. Ah, yes, yes. But we're gonna discuss the questions. Ah, okay. Uh, question number one is next to the baby. Next Here. to the baby? Yes, where it says start. Where do you Maybe. use to uh -huh. Ah, when did you used to live when you were were grow, growing up? Mm -hmm. I okay. Yes, where did you used to live? I used to live in San Miguel. Okay. When I growing up. Yes. Really? Hi, Alan. Sorry. Hi, how are you? Hi, Alan. Somebody dropped to me yeah. again from the other group. Me. You are playing <laughs> with me, right? And I, and I am following you on, on YouTube right now. Don't unfollow me. No, 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 no. Take, yeah, follow <laughs> Don't unfollow me. me. Okay. No, don't worry, but... <laughs> No, I'm kidding. Do you, have, do you have the image? Sorry. <laughs> the image. Oh, you want to share the image, Elizabeth, maybe? Uh, no, no, I, I got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah, but maybe okay. one of you can share it. So, what, what food did, you, did, did you, you use to like? The care is that you are driving to your house. No, right? I'm, <laughs> I'm going to my house. Oh, but she's the passenger. Ah, okay. It's good. Okay. <laughs> Not a problem. So, what used to be your favorite toy when you? My favorite toy. I remember my favorite toy is a Barbie. It used to be a Barbie, a used Barbie doll. I used to be. And you, yeah. Alan? Uh, my favorite toy, probably. I used to. I used to be. No, no, it used to no, be it it it, 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 it it used to be a transformer. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I don't know why. Oh, and I, I there's a few, but a transformer and a dinosaur and a, doi a dinosaur, mm -hmm. a T Rex. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and you, Elizabeth? I, I. It used to be a uh, Barbie. 
same part. Bar uh, Barbie dolls, same. all the same girls. Same. Barbie. Barbie girl. <laughs> I love this all so energetic. <laughs> yeah. Doll okay. Roxana. Yeah. Roxana. Yeah. Okay. No, you my favorite to... toy Santa used Bull. to be teddy bears. The teddy bear. Teddy bears, okay. yes. Mm -hmm. Not those. Okay. Didn't like those. Go forward two spaces more. <laughs> One, two. Who did you used to play with? Uh, I don't remember. My invention. <laughs> okay, you Raul, what tools do you used to like? Uh, I used to like pizza. Yeah. Me too. And what pizza, what pizza do you prefer? Or what kind um, of pizza? Veggie um, pizza. What? La veggie pizza. vegetariana. Veggie pizza. Veggie pizza. Veggie wow, pizza. And you, Jose? What's your favorite I love pizza? All, all of them. Uh, so for me, it's no. Have you tried Chipotle Bomb at Pizza Hut? Yeah, yeah. You it's like very it? nice. I, I, I like I like so much that pizza. Mm -hmm. But I think that or I prefer without onions. Wow. I, I think that, that they have many onions. Mm -hmm. It has a lot of onions. onions. And I, I dislike onions. Okay. And you, Tatiana, what do you used to like? Mm. Oh. Uh, eh, um, how do you say menos? Except. Except the, the pineapple. Oh, really? <laughs> Everything except pineapple. Okay. Uh, well, pineapple. Uh, <laughs> Next question. Okay. That's a Hawaiian pizza. Mm -hmm. Landa. 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 Yes. <laughs> Landa. Is the name of her. She's Landa. She's Is Landa. Just Landa, Landa. Yes. Okay. Yeah. It's I, another I name. Pido time, pido time. Yeah. It's, it's a part of the game. <laughs> it's Spanglish. Yeah. It's it's used. I, I used to be. I used. To, what is Relario? Relative is your parents. Uh, yeah, man, it's... No, parents is your father and your mother. Relatives is your friends. uncle, your aunt, your cousin, ah, okay. your nephew. Okay. Probably <laughs> uh, my, my favorite relative Used to my used to be used to be my cousin Eduardo. Okay. Okay. And why? Because he and me all the time go to dance, <laughs> and oh. we are a uh, very good dancer dancers. <laughs> ah, and what kind of dance? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And what kind of dance do you use to 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 dance or to play? Uh, what kind of music do you dance to, Mauricio? Uh, what kind what of music, kind do, you of dance music do you dance? Mm -hmm. <laughs> all, all, all the kind all of kind. music. Yeah. Uh, Salsa, okay. reggaeton, bachata. <laughs> ah, bachata. Cumbia, merengue. <laughs> ah, <laughs> nice. <laughs> wow. Uh -huh. All the kind. Right. It was a nice, okay. And the well, teacher loves sink. Very good what? for you. <laughs> what love the teacher? What love the teacher? The teacher ba bachata, just sing. Bachata or, or cumbia? I love singing, not dancing. Ah, singing. <laughs> ah, nice. Yeah. Uh, oh, you Very love to... good voice. Oh, thank you. Glad to... for you. <laughs> oh, thank you, Sandra. <laughs> You're so nice. Your channel is very good. You used to you used to go to the to the no it's not a disco to the bar to to
to do the, to karaoke. the karaoke. Karaoke. Uh -huh. Yes, in El Salvador I used to go to karaoke. Yeah, sometimes oh. it's fine. But well, you live uh, here in have... El Salvador, no? No, I live in Argentina. I have lived. Ah, you are in Argentina years. right now? Mm -hmm. Ah, I, I have been here Sorry, for I didn't know that. <laughs> no, that's ah, fine. Okay. In Argentina, what time is in Argentina? Ah, right it's now? really late. It's past midnight. Really? Wow. Yeah. So, it's cool. It's cool? Yes. It's, it's, it's not dangerous. That's what I like. It's not dangerous, but I work for some. No, no it's not dangerous. People, it, so. it, it, that is, how is the weather right now? It's cool or it's, it's uh, warm? Uh, no, right now it's raining and it's kind of cold. Ah, okay. It's cold for like five months of the year or more. It gets cold. Uh, the last, the last, it, the last year I was in Argentina. Oh uh, really? Say yeah, in well, Buenos Aires. Come here, uh, yes, I live in Buenos Aires, really near the obelisk. Sometimes I walk to the ah, obelisk. So if you come here, okay, visit me, please. Okay, <laughs> it's. I don't know, it's, it's, it's too late. Too it's, late now. It's, it's next too time. late now, right? Uh -huh. And the next time, right? Now. Uh, okay. Hey, Sandra, I will have a new song on Wednesday. I'll, I'll share it with you guys. There's a new song coming, a video. Right. I'm following. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Coming soon. All right. Awesome. Very good. Wow. I and love what, my new teacher because she is a good girl. Very interesting. <laughs> ah, wow. and, a, and a good singer. And a good yeah. singer. Yeah. Singer. And teacher. what kind of music do you like to sing? A romantic music with my friend and by myself. I like um, pop music. I like to sing pop music. Ah, what were you good. saying, Sandra? Sorry? You were saying you were making a list of what? <laughs> Yeah, the, the teacher is a <laughs> teacher singing, oh, singer, pardon, singer, a good girl. It's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> mar, 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 mar. <laughs> God, it worth this <laughs> Okay. That's so nice. Thank you. You're making me blush now. <laughs> All right. Hey, I haven't heard... Who is this? Uh, Oscar. Is Oscar participating? Um, I can hear Oscar. I'm Are here. Oh, hi, okay. Oscar. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry, Oscar. I no, don't worry. Don't worry. Oscar. I, I, I say, hi, Oscar. And you know us. Go to the um, Plazas de Rendero. Okay. Where, do you, where, where were you live? Um, I, I, I live in Chiradigal. Really? And you, you were with your bicycle to the planets de Rendero? Uh, no. Uh, and bicycle <laughs> is in, in your car. bicycle. In ah, okay. Car. When you, when you drive in, in the, the car and when you can, ah, okay. okay. Uh -huh. I understand. Okay. <laughs> Miss, do you know Planes de Renderos? Yes, of course. I know a lot of places in El Salvador, most of them. Okay. I used to be Patechucho. <laughs> <laughs> you used to be. What's your favorite places? Ah, you, ah, you used to be a Patechucho. Not anymore. Okay. No, no, I used to be in El Salvador. Here, I, I only go out like once you... a week. Ah, uh, really? Okay. But a healthy one, not go out drinking, but go out visiting places in El Salvador. Favorite places, San Diego Beach. I really like it, but it's dangerous now. So. San Diego, yeah, the beach. I like it. Some part, I guess, of the beach. I always like to. Always, always. Okay. I used to go there every week on Mondays or Sundays. So it was really nice. After work, I used to work in Inglés Corporativo, and, and on Sundays I finished at 1 p.m. and I went straight to the beach after class. <laughs> it was okay. awesome. I miss that. Great. Yeah. That's nice. What are your favorite places in the country? Esther? Cuco Beach. I love Cuco Beach. Cuco. 
Is uh, is the name of a uh, beach in San Miguel? Michael San Miguel, right? It's a beautiful. It's a beautiful. Let me. I have never been there. Let me Google it. Really? Oh, San Miguel is too hot. I can't. I can't be there. <laughs> El Espino. San Miguel and Frutan have beautiful beaches. Yeah, I think I went to Usulutan one day, but I can't remember. Really? Can't, you can't remember. You... Ah, yes, Alegria, that one in a, in a beach, I don't know, okay. but with a lot of rocks. Can't remember what it was. <laughs> <laughs> and your favorite place, Alan? My favorite place here in El Salvador. Uh -huh. It used to be probably San Juan o Pico. I don't know. Hey, I, I, I studied there. Do you know El Batallón? Yeah. I studied high school there. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> terrible place, uh, I guess. <laughs> yeah, no, it's okay. It's a terrible place, but I have, no, a, I have my reasons. Because of the schedule, the schedule was very important. So I needed okay. to, to study there. And your favorite place, Elizabeth? My favorite place is, uh, I used to be in, in Ataco. No, what's uh, your what? favorite place now? Now? Yes, it's Ataco. Okay, it is Ataco. Ah, uh, no, the thing is that when you say used to be a solía ser, meaning now it's not oh, Okay, okay. Yeah, and, 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 <laughs> and it still is, it still is. It still is Ataco. Is there, what kind of job do you do? I'm a lawyer. I dress uh, like a lawyer, right? Yes, uh-huh. <laughs> Why are you? I was like, why does she dress like that? She's a lawyer. Well, really? Yes. I'm okay. already come to my house. You look like, uh -huh, like a lawyer or something. <laughs> interesting. Hey, this is another question interesting. Who did you use to fight with? Mm -hmm. uh, I fight with a uh, long dress. Oh, you're going in dress. Who do you say? Who do you say? Vestido largo. Long, long dress. dress. Long dress. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you finish all the questions? No. All right, let's discuss one more and we're gonna finish. I, I wanna listen to you. Who is there? Uh, one more, so... Uh, where did you used to go on holiday? Maria, where did you used to go on holiday? Uh, I think we lost Maria. Maria is frozen. Yeah, she's frozen. And you, Tatiana, where do you use to go on holiday? When you were little. Where you was? When you were a child? When you were? Any, 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 anywhere. Um, uh, I used to uh, I visit uh -huh. I used to visit my family. I and used to visit my, my family. family. My family and um, always San Salvador. Um we, I don't have why I didn't, I didn't have, um, oh, I, yes. I, no, 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 I didn't, we didn't go, we didn't go anywhere, ah, I didn't go another place, uh -huh. where do you live Tatiana, 
in San Salvador? What part? In San Jacinto. Ah, San Jacinto, okay. And you, Jose Luis? Santa Tecla, you said, right? No, I live in San Jacinto, me too. Ah, okay. Hey, Raul? I live in Moncagua, San Miguel. Uh -huh. I imagine you were far away because of where you are right now. Look, everybody's like in the room and you're like outdoors, relaxed. <laughs> okay, we're it's gonna go. Yeah, it's raining here too. It's raining everywhere. Yeah. We should Hi. go. Hi, <laughs> we should go. <sighs> so many memories. <laughs> I hope you have beautiful memories from your childhood. I know why this, this exercise. <laughs> okay, I hope you practiced a lot. That was a long practice. Oh, look, I was looking at El Cuco Beach. So we were talking about places. Anyway, all right, uh, let's do this exercise. Now I think it's clear how to use used to and didn't used to, right? So what is the, what is the answer for number one? Mauricio, can you read number one? Mauricio. Number one. Oh, you're on mute. Okay, Alan, number one. Uh -huh. Question okay. and answer, both. Where did Jerry grow up? Mm -hmm. <laughs> really? No, let's check. Uh, where did Jerry grow up? Many, many. Ah, she grew she grows she up in Brinkton, Ireland. But what is the past of grow? Grow, 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 grows up. Ah, this one, right? She grew up. She grew up uh, in Brighton, England. Very good, Sandra. Really? Yes, this is the past of grow. Ah, okay, okay. Ah, yes. <laughs> Number two, Sandra. Jerry have a hobby. Mm -hmm. Jerry used to call it stamps. And that is incorrect because use is not in the past. It has to be in the past. Guys, it has to be it's used to one. or didn't use to. Okay. Anything else is incorrect. Number one, exactly. Used to and the verb in the infinitive form. Yes. Uh, Jose Luis? Okay. Give me a second. Well, number three, she was the best responsible for this question. What games do you use to play when you were a kid? I used to play, no, I used to play basketball and football when I was a kid. Number, number two. Yes, very good. Used to play. All right, that works. Esther, number four. Choose the best response to this question. What did you use to collect when you were a kid? I used to collect comic book when I was a kid. One, two, or three? Three. 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 Number three. No, number one. Remember, after used to, you have to use the base form. So, number one, used to. Sorry. And the verb in the base used form. Used to collect. Yes, Mauricio, ready this time? Okay, yeah. Uh, my last job was easy and relaxing. And I, I, I used to the, the I used to, the one, number one, I used to work, used to work from 9 a.m., 4 p.m., Monday, Friday, and hell weekend off. Let's send this and see if it is right. It should be right. Yay. Okay, everything is good. Now, let's watch uh, more explanations on, on how to use used to, all right? I think it will be easy, but this time, how do you form questions with used to, okay? 
We're going to practice yes, no questions and WH questions with used to. So take notes. All right. Let me see how long this video is. <coughs> Hi, everyone. Five minutes. Okay. Take notes of the structures and let's focus on the questions. Okay. You already practiced some. By the end of this class, you'll be able to make questions using used to. We'll practice making yes and no questions and WH questions. For example, you'll be able to make questions such as, what sports did you use to play when you were a child? Did you use to collect anything when you were a child? What kind of things did you used to do for fun when you were a kid? As I mentioned previously, what we're gonna do in this class is we're gonna learn how to form questions using used to. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on creating yes, I know questions as the one that I'm circling there. Did you use to collect things? That's a yes or no question. And then the way to answer that, yes, I used to collect comic books or no, I didn't use to collect anything. And also we're gonna learn how to create those WH questions with used to. Let me start by presenting the structure. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to make sense of the two questions that are here. As you can see, the first question is a yes or no question. And the second question, what sports did you use to play? That's an information question. That means that we have a WH word. So let's try to make sense of the first one first. Um, the um, yes or no questions don't have a WH word and therefore start with did. So did you use to? and it follows the verb in the present, collect things. Did is the auxiliary that we're gonna use and then that follows the subject. In this case, it happens to be you. That is gonna follow used to. If you notice used to is not in the past, it's in the present. And then it's gonna follow the verb in, in its present tense. And then finally, we'll have some sort of compliment. And how do we answer this type of questions? Well. We can either have a positive response such as, yes, I used to collect comic books, or no, I didn't use to collect anything, but now I collect art. So let me try to give a couple of more examples and we're gonna to continue to use that same structure. Um, we want to focus on doing yes and no questions at this moment, so let me ask you the following question. Did you used to listen to rock music, okay? Did you, I'm gonna say, did you play sports in high school? There we go. Now let me talk about creating WH questions. As you can see, that's the one at the bottom. Um, I mentioned that WH questions, we use this kind of questions to ask for information. And we'll borrow the example, we'll borrow that question that you see there. What sport did you use to play? So let me go ahead and write that down. What um, sports did you use to play? Sometimes we're gonna have a compliment, sometimes we're not. In this case, we don't have a compliment, but uh, what sports, that's the WH word, that follows auxiliary did. And then after that, we're gonna have a subject. After that, we're gonna have used to. Notice that used to is in the present, and that follows the verb in its present form. Then sometimes you're gonna have a compliment, sometimes you're not. So let me write a couple of more questions here so that you can get the hang of it. What uh, video games did you use to play when you were a kid? Okay, that'll be another one. So what video games, that will be my WH word, it follows the auxiliary did, subject is you, used to, and the verb in its present form, and then whatever complement. 
the last thing that I would like for you to do is to practice making questions. You're going to make yes or no questions and also WH questions. What I'm going to do at this time is I'm going to post some answers and what you're going to do is you're going to come up with the best possible question to the answers that are stated here. You need to identify whether the answer is from a yes or no question or is it from a, a WH question and um, answer that accordingly. Okay. Um, is it clear, confusing? How was it? Um, <laughs> confusing. <laughs> well. Okay. <laughs> Basically, it's the same structure that we saw, right? We did. Did you use the, okay, so this is, and let's do one example very quickly. So we're saying, I used, let me do this, I used to, I used to play with my friends every day. Our generation had the ability to play every day outside, right? Not in the, in the phones, so that's good. Okay, what's the negative form of this? <coughs> This is I a part use, negative. I didn't, didn't. Use, I didn't use to play with my friends. With my friends, la la la. Okay, what's the question for him? Do you use to play? Do you use to play with your friends? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Every day. All right. Because we have the auxiliary here, we have the auxiliary here, we don't use uh, the past of the verb, right? We only use it in affirmative form. Don't forget that we use ED in irregular verbs only, only in negative and questions, okay? Don't forget. So it's the same thing here. Okay, what is the, how do you make a WH question, guys? I said it's the same, right? Before did. Exactly. For example, what what sport do you, do you use to play with your friends? What sport? Copy paste. Okay. What sport do you use to play with your friends? Yes, that is a structure. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's do some exercises, and I think Just we'll be good with this for the night. Sorry, I know it's a lot of information for this week, guys. It's too much. I know. <laughs> I know. But maybe we can reinforce this topic later. Right now we have to finish section one, okay? And I would encourage you to work with me during class. Do everything with me during class so that you don't have homework, all right? Number one, what is it, Raul? Uh, did you use to worry about money when you were younger? Number two. <laughs> hey guys, did you used to worry about money when you were children? Mm. Say yes, yes, I did or no, I didn't. I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, you don't worry about money. Okay, which is correct? One, two, or three? Elisa? Which is correct? Um, did you use, did you use to follow? Number it used one. to follow politics five years ago. And uh, number one. Yes. Yes, that's good. Very good. All right, next one, Jose Luis. I used to choose the best question to mention the other I used to care a lot about my appearance. Now I still do to care. Okay, what do you use to care about when you were younger? I think that is the third. Do you use to carbo your appearance? But if you notice, Jose Luis, the auxiliary is in the past and the verb is in the past. You cannot do okay. that. Okay, yeah, it's wrong. Mm -hmm. you use, the, the first, what do you use to carbo when you were younger? You right, exactly. That's the one. Very good. Next, what do, you, uh, is there? what do you used to care about when you were younger? What kind of video game? This is a WH question. I think. 
What kind of behavior? What kind? What kind of did you did you used to play when you were were a teenager? I think it's number number two. Yes, this is the one. All right, let's send it. Okay. Good job. Very good. Those are the answers. Um, okay. There are some more things that I want to teach you about the past, but for now, I think we have finally completed section one. Let me see. Phew, just on time. <laughs> we finished. All right. We're going to start section two <laughs> next week. Okay. Now, do you have questions? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo se sienten? Hagamos un pequeño paréntesis de dos minutos. Más oh, good. Nice. It's okay. Something good. Uh -huh. Preguntas, comentarios. Eh, I, I don't understand the negative statement using never. Ah, ok. Remind me on Monday and I will explain it. Ok. But never is a substitute of not. It's the same, but it's a substitute of not. I, I will give you examples on Monday. Okay. What else? No comments? No. no. I think it's a lot of information, but I think I need to practice more. We need more practice. Yeah. Okay. Did I send you the structures for uh, where it was and for that? Did I send you all the structures? No, right? No. No. I'm gonna send you pictures with with the structures, and when I do send them to you, please write in the, on the notebook so that you understand how it is formed. Are you working with the irregular verbs? Are you memorizing them? No, right now. <laughs> <laughs> in the weekend, we will do that in the weekend. Also, oh, yes, but right now sure. the most important thing, <laughs> yeah, you can use that technique too. The most important thing right now is to memorize those verbs, okay? Because if you don't memorize them, you're limited to speak in the past, and we don't want that. Okay, let me send you the structures. Simple past. I will do that later, all right? I hope you have a beautiful weekend, guys. Thank you very much for being in class. Have okay, fun, too. stay safe. Take care. Bye. Take care. Take Thank care. you. Bye. 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 Have a nice weekend. Have a nice weekend.